Okay, I got a quick introduction out of chapter one to some just basic spreadsheet concepts. So I'm going to pull up my spreadsheet and we'll get rolling today. All right, so let's start by identifying uh, what we can put in a cell. So a cell uh, consists of where a, a row and a column merge. So this is row uh, one and column A. So we refer to this particular cell as A1. And I'm going to put a Actually, I put three different types of values in here. I put either a, a, a text-based um, uh, data in here, where text would be like a uh, like a label, a name. Um, I could also put a value in here. A value would be a number, or else I could put a formula or a function in here. Okay, so let me let me put some stuff in here. First, uh, I'm going to put this. Let me call this uh, column here date. I'll call this column here value. Actually, I'll put a couple values in here. So this will be value 1, this will be value 2, and then over here uh, I'm just going to maybe find our product. Some real simple uh, formula we'll put in there. Okay, and all I did is I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard. I also come up here and click with my mouse. Okay, fairly straightforward stuff here. Alright, so let me put in a date. So I'm going to put in um, oh, January 21st. Okay, so I'll put a date in here. All right, and uh, I'm gonna first introduce the uh, the fill handle here. Okay, so this is like copy and paste. And if you you note here, I can grab this corner. If you look at the corner of the cell here, watch what I do here. I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna copy that down. I'm gonna go down ten cells. Okay, I'll actually go one more. All right, there's ten cells. So go from January 21st through uh, January 30th there. All right, and so that's I did that with the fill handle. Let me undo it. Control Z undoes. And again, I grab this little corner here, and it's doing a copy and paste, but you notice it's also uh, incrementing as I go down each one here. Okay? Let me do that here with, uh, okay, so there's a date. Let me put a number in here. Okay, and I once I put the number in, i got to hit Enter, and then that, uh, that completes entry to that particular cell. And I'll use my, my fill handle here again. You notice when I put a number in here, it's just doing a copy and, really a copy and paste, right? And the number hasn't been increment it at all. Hit control Z here again. You put two numbers in. Instead of just selecting one cell, I'm going to select two cells. Now watch what happens when I grab the fill handle here. See how it increments? Okay, so I'll put 10 there. Okay, so I numbered from 1 to 10. If you note here, again, I'm looking at this box right above it. Okay, see how it shows me number 1? And then I'm going to move down number 2, 3, 4, and if I want to edit that, Okay, I can go up in this box, I can click and I can edit there. Or I can go up here and I can actually edit in a cell and I can delete and add it there. Okay, play around with that. It's tough for you here. Let me go, uh, let me decrement now where I'm going to go down one each each time. Okay, so I, I highlight the first two cells, fill handle again, move it on down. Okay, um, so it figures, it figures out the pattern. All right. Spreadsheets are good that way. All right, so so far I got, I have a uh, a, a text-based label up here in uh, row one. Here I got uh, in row two. I have a combination of dates and numbers. Actually, I'm gonna find are all numbers. And uh, in row two or cell D two here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my first formula in. Formulas and functions always start with an equal sign, so I put an equal sign in there. And we say we're gonna do a product here. Now when I reference this, rather than say 1 times 10, if I'm going to find a product of value 1 and value 2, um, I use the cell reference. So it's cell B1 times, whoops, that's not right, B2, see how it's highlighted now, times, my multiplication symbol is just an asterisk, C2, okay, hit enter, all right. Um, another way I can do that, let me show you this, I'll, I'll, I'll control Z so I undo it, and I'm going to say equals, and I can click, hit my multiplication symbol, and then click, okay, hit enter, and so it, it, uh, I, I'm using, really this is known as cell references, so rather than one, I'm using cell reference B2 and cell reference C2, alright, now let me use my fill handle here again, and it's going to copy these down, I'll just copy one down, just like we did before, but of note here, Note how this is B2, C2, but we also increment, since we're moving down one, it moves down one uh, one row with me, okay? So even though I did copy and paste here, because these cells, we'll talk about cell references and 
um, absolute versus relative, it copies them as relative here. All right, and so it'll increment the row each time I go down there. Okay, so two times nine is 18. Great, let's do the whole works here. So I can very quickly fill in my little product here of these two. All right. Um, so those are those are easy things. Uh, pretty basic spreadsheet stuff here, but good review if you're already on top of this. And of course, we can format here just like we would in a word processor. One other uh, one other little important tool I want to show you here is uh, if I if I go over here in my product, I can show the formula. I show it up here, right? But if I want to if I want to display it in my spreadsheet, the key uh, combination to do that is Control. And then there's like a tilde, um, which is a little squiggly, just above the, t the tab on my keyboard or just uh, adjacent to the one key. So I hold down the control with my thumb and with my forefinger, I hit that little tilde key and it will show me now all of my formulas. Okay, so here's all my formulas in my product and it looks kind of funny here because I have, uh, have this uh, blown up a little bit, zoomed in so you can see it here in the video. Um, didn't change any of my labels. It didn't change my numbers. But if you look over here, here's something of interest. It changed my date, didn't it? Didn't it change my date to numbers? And if you if you look at this, interestingly enough, um, dates are all numbers, and so we have to have uh, some way of, of chronologically uh, separating those, and that's how we do it. So every day is a is another day here. So we you know January twenty first, two thousand eleven is the the day forty thousand five. 164. Okay, so being a thinking person I am, what date is day zero? It's be interesting. Okay, so I put a zero in there. Now watch this. I'll hit control and then that tilde again. And day zero is actually, what is it? One zero nineteen hundred. Okay, well that's kind of wacky. What day is one, because that's not really a date, one one nineteen hundred. Okay, that makes sense. If we look at the number, that should be number one. All right, interesting. There is issues if you're working with spreadsheets and you start using dates before 1900, that should be considered, but that's not really uh, where we're at right now. We're just introducing spreadsheets.